There is currently a proposal to effect a wholesale transformation of Aberdeen's very core. A couple of years ago, a discreet, elegant scheme was devised by Prisac González architects to create on, or rather in, this slope, a largely subterranean home for the Peacock Visual Arts Centre. No sooner had it been granted planning permission than Sir Ian Wood, a billionaire oil tycoon with 50 million pounds to spare, countered with his grandiose vision to cover this valley with a vast roof and on that roof create a public space which would be a cross between a mini central park and a grand Italian piazza. And beneath that roof, Wood's vision is excitingly 20th century. There'd be a car park and a shopping mall. Where does one start? With the fact that this intervention, philanthropic or plutocratic according to taste, is, let us say, most unorthodox. With Peacock having lost part of its funding because its project has been put in abeyance, with the fawning of the City Council and the Scottish Government and the intensely relaxed Alex Salmon's enthusiasm. With the catch in the small print, Wood expects the ratepayers to stump up another £50 million to achieve his vainglorious vision. Besides all this, the last thing Aberdeen needs is more shops. No, come to think of it, the last thing Aberdeen needs is an enormous car park that will merely increase the volume of traffic. And then there's the matter of the unique cityscape which will be irreparably damaged. This is a sort of amphitheatre, 250 metres long and between 35 and 50 metres wide. It contains a subterranean river, a road, a railway track, ancient trees, ancient shrubs, stairs, slopes, floral leopards. It's a complex space. What it is proposed to replace it with is a simple, not to say simplistic space. A grandiloquent void, which is entirely contrary to the nature of Abedonian cityscape. It's blind to the genius loci. 